It's 12 o'clock on a Sunday, Canadian Thanksgiving, and Brandon and I are going to an Oculus Rift Hackathon in Michigan. This is going to be an awesome. hour away. Um, right now we're in Windsor. Ann Arbor. We're going to Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is a little north of Detroit. So let's hit it. Hit it, hit it. Got about uh, what's the EPA there? 102, 12.25. Got about 30 minutes in Ann Arbor, and uh, basically on the way. Oculus Rift, here we come! Woo! Library. We're about to go in. It's one o'clock. It's uh, I think it starts at two. So we're gonna see. Hopefully, it's gonna be fun. Brandon, you psyched? Yeah, I'm psyched. I'm psyched. Let's go. Let's go. Um, let's see some asteroids. Okay, let's go this way. So, what's the premise of this game? To mine asteroids. Um, to get all the elements. That's the theme of the competition. It's a lot better with my glasses on. <laughs> you did much better at this game the first time than I did. Can you see the numbers on the side now? Now I can, yeah. yeah. Definitely. We're still on the lift. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Doesn't give you the cedar point for your pipes though. <laughs> All right, here we go. So you're after this guy. Keep it low on your face. Oh no, I'm after this guy. One foot. I cannot do one foot. Woo! Wow, that is actually pretty weird. We're trying to get both the screen and you. Whoa, that's actually not bad. There was one spot where it was like pretty good. Here goes the jump. There are three that you You gotta try do it on one foot, William. You do get a Can we play it? <laughs> I thought you didn't like the No, I don't like the zero road. So Brandon has decided to take control of the chairs for all the children with the uh the... Vote for this one? No, this one's not votable. I'm voting anyway. You can if you want. We'll make a little cup for it. <laughs> Did you guys make this game though? No, it it's demo? it's a public demo. It's it's very popular. I'm not sure who made it. I bet I'm gonna love this. So in the future, for a demo, would a demo become a real game if everyone yep. likes it? Yeah. Yeah. Are all of these gonna become real games, or only the ones that? It depends if they want to keep making them. Oh, this <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, Brandon, what'd you think of the rift? We're done. We left. Well, it was cool, but I think that I had built it up far too large in my head <laughs> because I was literally expecting to plug into the Matrix today. And it wasn't quite that, 
but it was pretty good. It was, it was, it was cool. It was definitely cool, but it was, I'm going to wait for a higher definition version of it before I really want to rush out and impulse buy one. Right. What do you think? So I'll give you the camera. So today we tried out, we were there for maybe about four hours. Yeah. I really love how we inserted oh, yeah. ourselves. Maybe we should, we should talk about that first. Okay. So we got there, we went to the university. Um, and this was taking place at the library, so we went to the university because we showed up really early. And we ran into the people, we basically saw a truck, and in the truck we saw all these dev kits. And we were like, that must be it. So, Brandon said something like, we should steal all these, or something <laughs> something stupid like that. It turned out the guy, the guy was right around the pillar. So we were like, hey, what's up? <laughs> then, are you guys doing the Oculus yeah, thing? are you guys doing the Oculus thing? And then he was like, yeah. We were like, we're the guys from Canada. So we played the Canada card, and he asked us if we want to be official judges, which was really awesome. Ding! Because when we got there, um, the official judges basically got to try all the demos first, right? And, yeah. and we got there, and we helped set everything up. If we weren't part of that group, we would have been lumped together with the public who had to like wait in line. Yeah. With all this. Stuff. But the best part, the best part is like William's walking around. He's like setting up PCs so he can just search for demos on the PCs, play them himself. We start, we start just like, like inserting ourselves. People are asking us questions. Yeah. We're fielding the questions about the rift. We're like, they're like, oh, is this your game? We're like, no, no, we're just, we're not even, we're not even administration. We just showed up. Yeah. So, so literally, I am taking dev kits and setting them up on PCs and going around on the C drive and finding things to run. Yeah. Um, but what do we play? We played three games that were developed yeah. over the forty-eight hours. So one was like this mining game. Um, where you flew through space and you had to collect all these elements. It was the only one that was actually a game of yeah, any that, sort. Yeah. Then there was another one where you had to climb up a volcano as like the rocks were coming down on you. And then there was another one where you sort of explored a treasure ship, mm -hmm. like a like a sunken ship. That one was very limited. Like, but she yeah. had said that her team abandoned her. The second one was my favorite just because it gave you the best immersion yeah, in the did. in the reality. Like, it had rocks popping out of the volcano and it had. Um, you could jump off the mountain, yeah. but uh, but what else? Okay, so then there was the roller coasters. Yeah, so so then we got those were the three that we played that were developed, and then the ones that we played that were obviously like the big, um, the big rift demos was of course the roller coaster one, and uh, you just saw some of the videos of Brandon playing with. Uh, <laughs> I must have done like fifty rides. Like, did I not? Yeah. Like I did like fifty rides. So you you saw the video of Brandon basically controlling the chair. He called it the 4D experience. And there were so many kids there. I couldn't believe how many kids there yeah. were. Yeah. It made it easy to roller coaster the kids because yeah. I could like flip the chair upside down. Yeah, and uh and it got crazy because like once you do one kid you have to do all the kids. Yeah. And so he had to he was basically you didn't care though. It seemed like No, I didn't care. I was so when Brandon was doing that I was setting up all the other demo stations. So we we played that. We played um the Rift underwater rift. Mm -hmm. We played um, or Ocean Rift or whatever. Then I was, saw the Pac Man one, but I didn't get to play that. Yeah, one. we played the pa I played the Pac Man one, and then we also played that Dragon Rift. What was that one called? Dragon Rift. I don't know. It was like Epic Dragon. Epic something? Dragon VR. That one had the very the yeah. by far the best controls of every game yeah. we've played. It so, was pure head. So in my opinion, I built it up a little bit too much in my head too. The depth and the stereoscopic 3D for me wasn't that crazy when i first tried the rift i tried it without my glasses and it was really blurry but then everybody was telling me to try it with my glasses on and it was a lot better but i still didn't get that depth and i, th I think i had less of a field of view than you did mm -hmm. because when you have glasses and you're wearing the rift um you have to pull the rift out to fit your glasses in um so you lose a lot of that field of view um, unless well and unless you take your glasses off and then you push it right up against your eyes um again it, you lose so much fidelity. Like, you look at it, you look at it on the screen, on the on the monitor. Yeah, I was really surprised like, at how poor it actually was. Yeah, you lose a lot of fidelity. The resolution is almost cut to a quarter, I'd say. Yeah, and the other thing that, that I, I found really surprising was that the depth, although the depth perception works, it works really well in certain areas, and then yeah. it's almost imperceptible in other areas. Yeah. It was like the scale of depth doesn't match what your real-world right. level of depth would expect for some distance. Like, if that makes any sense, but, like... I didn't notice the screen door effect that much. Um, by far the best demo was Epic Dragon. Yeah. Um, because that one, you, you sort of... I like the demos where they you just use the Rift. And right. in that one, you're just using the Rift to control the dragon. So, essentially, you're riding this dragon, and you have to steer him with your head. 
So you're kind of going like this, and you're pulling the dragon in the direction that you're moving your head. It was so cool. That one was the best for the actual control of the dragon, but I think that my still favorite part was is that what made me want to do the roller coaster for everyone was because when somebody pushed the chair forward for me yeah. going over the drop, yeah. like it literally for a second, like your brain just like suspends like, oh God, is what's going on? Like you almost feel like you're falling yeah. for a second. That was pretty much what inspired me to do it for everyone because I knew that would make it that much better. But right now the rift, I don't think is in a purchasable state. I would only, I wouldn't use it to play something like say Arma 3 and when you play something like long term, it's more of a gimmick or, than anything because of you, because of the amount of fidelity you lose. Yeah, like the the losses outweigh the benefits of playing the riff. For right now, now, yeah, definitely, defi definitely. So like, I would much rather play on my monitor without having full immersion than than lose that much fidelity. It's like a quarter of the resolution, which is just like... So imagine playing your games at 800 by 600. That but that's... You gotta also think, though, we're just spoiled because you're used to playing it you know, on a 2,000-pixel-wide yeah, monitor. <laughs> and, like, you go back... Like, remember when we were like, Oh, my God, Wolfenstein, this is revolutionary! It's true, it's true. And I didn't notice the screen door effect. Did you notice the screen door? It wasn't as I don't know what you'd call by screen door effect, but I could see the, the divisions between the pixels. Like, okay, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, like, it wasn't like it was horrible but like it definitely it wasn't as clear as like as like watching an hd movie or anything like that right okay so we're gonna head home um overall though it was worth it definitely definitely worth it but i don't think we're gonna buy one at this point no but at least now we know <laughs> i still think that we should just get oculus rift get a cube van and then just go rent it and make people play this like we could make enough money to pay it off and like i think we should do we, that we should mention craig yeah it was kind of it was kind of crazy this guy has all the riffs that they use. This, guy, this one guy had like eight of them. Eight riffs. This guy had, no joke, eight riffs. And he brought them all. And that those were the riffs we were using. I couldn't believe it. And we kept asking him why he had them. And he was kind of... He was telling us about he's got some project on his mind. But he, he was very cryptic. And I, I could perceive right away that he did not want to tell us about his secret <laughs> yeah. project. All right. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. See you later.